Welcome back to another episode of Bio for Dummies, where today we will be discussing meiosis. Now, meiosis is not to be confused with mitosis. They are two completely separate processes. The cell first starts off as a diploid to n equals 6 germ cell. This means that there are three sets of chromosome pairs, also known as homologous pairs. One from your mom and one from your dad. Before meiosis begins, the chromosomes duplicate to make their sister chromatids, producing a total of 12 chromosomes in the cell. In order to increase genetic variety, crossing over occurs. During crossing over, the homologous pairs combine, and a sister chromatid of each pair exchange a piece of genetic material. Next, the homologous pairs will line up randomly in the middle of the cell. This means that there are a variety of combinations that homologous pairs can line up in. This will further increase genetic diversity. Spindle fibers will attach to the centromere of the chromosomes. The homologous pairs will then be pulled by the spindle fibers and separated to opposite sides of the cell. The end result is two separate haploid cells meaning the cell is now n equals 6, and they are both genetically different. The chromosomes of each cell will line up in the middle, and spindle fibers will attach to the centromeres. The spindle fibers will pull each sister chromatid from the chromosomes to opposite sides of the cell. The cell will be split, resulting in four genetically different haploid cells, and is now n equals 3, 